Hey guys, so I'm just going to spit it out and tell you exactly why Alpha Investments is so wrong about investing in standard, let's call it standard, but it also could be modern booster pa packs or booster boxes sealed essentially of Magic the Gathering. Wizard of the Coast can reprint everything at any time, including older boxes. They have done so, it's called Remastered. Remastered means it is multiple boxes or multiple cards in older boxes combined into one box, typically a set, right? A set like Time Spiral Remastered was Time Spiral, it was the Planar Chaos, it was one other set. Can they do a Lorwyn Remastered? Absolutely, that would be a great remaster set and I actually would probably buy it at a reasonable Amazon dump price. There are a lot of factors. Game stores are on a hold dumping their product for a loss. They are buying from a distributor at one price and then selling it for $20, $30, $40 less than they bought it from. Why this is happening, I don't really know. I can't really explain it, but that's what's happening. And one of the individuals who has the heaviest bags because his prices are so high and he refuses to give any discount Unlike a Card Kingdom, Card Kingdom says, hey man, we bought too much Murders or Carvalho Manor. Let's make sure our customers get a good deal. Here's a collector box for 140. Rudy still wants to sell you the collector box for 180 plus the $15, $15 fee, right? The uh, fee that you pay. And that, that actually is a lot of money. It is a lot, a lot of money, guys. So... Back to what I need to say about uh, what is happening here. Um, when you talk about something where we have a lot of the same items and it's not necessarily a good idea to continue to buy these items over and over and over and over again, yeah, it kind of sucks, man, when you're the one holding the bag, right? That's Rudy. And he says, oh, well, this price would be 09. He always like says that the price of something goes, if you're paying 180 for something, and he's like, oh, well, at least the price didn't go up to 99, go down to $99. That's a terrible thing. So you're saying that you paid 180 from a distributor cost. At least it didn't hit 100. Are you shitting me? Like, are you crazy? Man, if you spent $180 on something as an investment, and that stock went down to $100, you would feel really bad, man. Oh, great. The stock is now $140. Okay, great. Who cares? Like, who cares? You still, when you buy a stock, your idea is you don't, you're not going to lose money. I don't know anyone who buys a stock and their first thing is, oh, well, at least it didn't go down to 100 No, you're hoping the stock goes up in price. And if you, if you don't want to do the stock and think it's gambling, well, you can do CDs, guaranteed 5% return. You can do bonds, which are much more stable. So this idea, right, oh, at least we didn't go to zero. At least MetaZoo didn't go to zero. But a lot of people lost a lot of money, Rudy, from your advice on MetaZoo, even though you said it's not investable. I mean, had you said that from the very get-go, I'd give you all the credit in the world, right? It's not investable, guys. But you're selling this shit for $8,200. I mean, what else is it if it's not but an investment? At $8,200 for a MetaZoo kit, no matter what the kit looks like, I don't give a shit, because all the Val cards are worthless today. The game has gone belly up. You know, I, I can't, you cannot spin it. You cannot spin it. Because uh, some, some Rudy Lemming down the line has lost a lot of money from MetaZoo. So, okay, this guy flipped it to that guy, and that guy flipped it to that guy. Oh, everyone made money flipping. Well, who did they flip it to? Right? Probably, I mean, most people know MetaZoo from Alpha Investment. They, there are plenty of comments in your own comment section which um, suggest that they would never have heard of the game outside of you promoting the game, Rudy. And you are the biggest MetaZoo content creator. Your videos get 10 times, 20 times what a, the entire MetaZoo community forgets. Right? And, okay. The reason that Magic Boxes are not a good investment is exactly the reason he gets most views. Hasbro management. Hasbro management is terrible. We are heading to a cowboys, cowboys, cowboys and aliens. I mean, my gods. I, I, I mean, 
We went from Clue Mystery to Cowboys. I'm pretty sure Carvel Manor was just to promote Clue because no one realized Clue was still a game. I would not be shocked if Carvel Manor was to promote Clue. And, you know, basically what he said. Actually, I saw um, the uh, that, that $19 ship. I saw that on sale on Dave and Adam for like 21 Maybe 19 a box. So is he Dave and Adams, right? And that's loyalty, right? Wow. Dave and Adams sure has a bunch of loyalty. Lo Dave and Adams, no. Even had like a loyalty program. And then like his whole idea, oh, you picked the most um, damaged case that I can't sell. And that's your lucky case. I mean, none of this is like consumer friendly, right? None of this is consumer. Like people are starting to wake up and they're, they're waking up and they're like, whoa. Hey, this dude is uh, giving us damaged cards. He doesn't. He's kind of like opening cards. Like any, if if Rudy was a dude in um, sports cards on whatnot, he would be roasted a long time, a long, long time ago. Because the stuff that how he opens the box, he doesn't even open it live, right? But back to the Magic the Gathering. His biggest videos by far are negative videos, right? They're negative videos, right? So then when he makes a positive video, why is he confused when the negativity around Hasbro, game pieces, secret lairs, like why is he so confused that his audience then turns on him? He seems to have like a disconnection. You make a negative video about Hasbro, the owners and creators of Magic the Gathering, and then you said, oh, look at this. Every card's going to the moon. What? Like... Like, 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 seriously, like, what is going on? Like, no, no, like, uh, like, seriously, like, how, how can you make that discon? That's so disconnected. The, the Hasbro, the CEO, the Hasbro CEO, so evil and stuff, and he gets 50,000, 80,000 views, right? Like, then the next video is, oh, Carvalho Manor is amazing, guys, that we should all buy in. Magic Market looks great. So, again, Revenge of the Game Pieces. These are not, you know, his most viewed or popular videos. His most popular videos are Hasbro sucks, Hasbro's collapsing, Hasbro tried to sell Dungeons and Dragons, which is fake news. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know. Will MetaZoo survive? I mean, this is a recent video, guys. Like, he's talking about Meta. No, MetaZoo not going to survive. In hindsight, it's dead. You know, it's, it's, uh, I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves here. Just be, let's be honest. His investment advice has been very bad in the last three years. His investment advice, yeah, sure. You, you have some things that went up, some things that went down, some things that went sideways. But the majority of the cards, if you were to sell today, I talk about the reader promos, you wouldn't get as much as you thought you would get. You'd probably get 40% of its quote value because you will find out that people don't actually want old boxes of magic that were five times printed, right? And can be printed again.